Welcome to Bigfoot Research. This is the Sholo Incident, 25 April 2014, photo follow-up. Now this is uh, the date that this video was created. However, the photo that we're analyzing is actually, was actually taken on the 25th of October in 2013 by the Promos camera. And, you know, when I first went through these cameras, I really didn't see anything really obvious. I was expecting a giant eight foot Sasquatch or a person or a dog or something like that. But as I go through these uh, this footage, I found something very strange. For those who haven't followed the series of this incident, uh, this trailer was located on a piece of land and the owner kept reporting that he hears knocking on the side of the trailer. It starts in the back and uh, rhythmically moves forward to the front of the trailer. Well, I've, sometimes when that was happening, we'd run out there, or he'd run out there, and I have run out there to see what it was. And of course, we saw nothing. So that's when I first brought in my game cameras and put put them out and recorded the plasma discharges on the chicken wire. However, this didn't explain really the knocks. That was something else. So we started taking photos with the game cameras and in most cases we didn't see anything. When I first looked at this uh, photo I kind of blew it off because I knew that there was a wheelbarrow down there sitting upside down and for some reason my mind told me that that little burp blurp of dark was the tire and uh, you know I didn't really think that much of it until I recently went back through them again and discovered that there's actually something between the wheelbarrow and the front of my truck and of course this photo is before my truck was killed by the elk but uh, you can see how tall it is. I decided to take a closer look so I zoomed in and uh, enhanced the video and I could clearly see that there was something between the tire and the truck. It appears to be a head and some shoulders. Now, this thing could be crouched down, or it could be a small creature of some sort, but it's very strange. So I'm going to zoom in a little closer and take another look. Zooming in a little bit closer and enhancing the photo again, trying to get rid of the pixels and so forth, it now becomes apparent that the, it's not part of the tire. You can actually see the white showing on the curvature of the tire so there's definitely something behind that tire and in front of the truck and it's now beginning to show a little bit of detail as to what it could possibly be. I'm pushing the photo and the resolution and the color and the detail to the maximum. This is the best I can do but now you can see that definitely the tire is not part of the object behind it and you can start to see the, the uh, outline of shoulders and so forth and you can see that the object in question is all dark color and it's a little bit more brown than the tire is so therefore it's not part of the wheelbarrow and it's not part of the truck it is definitely some kind of object and very very possibly a living creature that is there between my truck and that wheelbarrow. Now I have gone walked that area and there is nothing back there. I walked that area before this photo and there was nothing there. So this object is more, very high probability some type of creature. Could this be our culprit? for knocking on the trailer. Could this be one of the members of the voc vocalizations or the conversations and the footprints that I had found? Uh, we need to further investigate this area.